I, I read a quote by you. It says, losers have tons of variety. Champions just take pride in learning to hit the same old boring shots. Yeah, the, the uh, physics remains the same. You don't, uh, you're not playing a new sport every day. Uh, what you're trying to do is keep it simple, which is your theme. You know, keep it simple and, uh, and get right to the point fast. And that's the thing about physics. They don't change. You don't have a new physical law about how to hit a tennis ball. You know, to, to hit a certain number of revolutions, a certain number of speed, you have to make a racket go a certain uh, speed and, and a certain angle with racket face. And it's very well known now. And uh, there's still people who think they can do funny things to the ball and they can't. They violate physical laws. And they haven't won a match since 38. And uh, so, uh, but the kids who, that's why I try to get kids into science we're teaching on the, the Junior Ambassador Program, we teach physics, science, math, and languages on the tennis court because it's faster. There are a lot of physics problems on the court, and it's faster actually learning than in the classroom. Amazing, amazing. Now, you've been featured in Time Magazine, Sports Illustrated, People Magazine, New York Times, and hundreds of other publications. How do you... How do you keep grounded? You're you're a big superstar, and you're the most nice, accessible. I saw you today. Take a girl that was just standing here hitting, and spend your time helping her with no remuneration, anything. Uh, how do you, how do you stay uh, the man you are? Well, I think the best thing I've ever learned is how small we are in this world, not how big. <clears throat> Excuse me. You now I came from a very poor family. And I, I, I really learned very early that opportunity doesn't knock all the time. And to give kids opportunities is the best thing that we can do. Uh, it's one thing to receive, but it, it's even a bigger gift to give. And so for me, it's been very, very <clears throat> easy. I started playing tennis when I was caught in a theft. I was stealing tennis balls. And this coach said, you're going to jail or learn to play tennis. And I was 11. And I never even dreamed about playing tennis. And then another man, Dr. Alan B. Stowe, took an interest at Kalamazoo College. I lived in a ball closet there, and uh, I hitchhiked all over the country when I was 13 years old, playing in tournaments. He gave me a job there, and I finally go, went to Kalamazoo College. I found out that intellectual functioning levels weren't dictated by socioeconomic levels. I ended up having threatened my brother with a fist fight. I made him go to school. He ended up Dr. Paul Braden. He worked for the President of the United States running the President's Medal of Technology Award. Together we threatened my next brother, and uh, he graduated, became a history professor at West Valley College and tennis coach. My next brother became a developer in Hilton Head, and then my little sister uh, died of lupus, uh, held a, had a new baby, held it one day, died the next day, and uh, we adopted her son, and uh, he now is a tennis uh, director at Purdue University. So. Anyway, just opportunities, giving a kid an opportunity. And, and every chance we get, it seems that if we can give some kid, we may be changing a life. And when I realize how small we are, you know, I can go to cities and no, I can go to cities where people know me, but I can go to other places and people never heard of me. And, and uh, I was doing a show with Bill Cosby and, and Cos I said, how should I introduce you? We were down doing a tennis thing. And I said, just call me Fat Albert. And uh, he looked at me so funny. I said, Cause, what's going on? He goes, you can't call yourself Fat Albert. I said, why? He said, because I own that name. Uh, I, I didn't know that. But, uh, but I think what's helped me is to realize how small we are. And we, we will have a, a fairly small, relative to the world population, will have a very small influence on other people. And just do as much as you can. Well, uh, you've had some influence on some uh a lot of tennis players that have graced this is uh, uh, this is the original tennis college right it's here but it was actually when I finally left it was sold to a developer who won't let anybody on the college courts but this is the club court but this was the original yeah this was the original Vic Braden tennis court. this is it and uh, I tell us some of the people that have went on these courts well we we worked with an awful lot of people we worked with Ronald Reagan's family uh, we worked with um, I was doing a thing with Admiral Zumwalt, who was head of the Navy and Marines, and uh, we were doing a show here, and uh, the, the El Toro jets were flying in low. We couldn't do our show. 
he gets on the phone and goes sends all the jets away uh you know i i couldn't believe that kind of power really? i go wow that's a that's amazing but uh we worked with chevy chase and tim conway hung out here they made us laugh all the time we've had a lot of a lot of celebrities and uh, you had some uh, pros here right yeah we did arthur ash and i made videos together and did this thing called tennis our way uh did a lot of research with the top players, Jimmy Connors and uh, people like that. Uh, the Ryan Brothers were here. Ryan I worked with the Ryan Brothers when they were young. Is this where Tracy Austin, when she was real little? No, I did that at the Jack Kramer Club in Palos Verdes. So I see. helped Jack build that club, and uh, and uh, but we still do stuff with Tracy. We're very close friends, and and uh, she had she's in our book. You know, would have, should have, could have, and. And, uh, and I suspect a lot of big name pros are using their stuff, but their egos won't let them admit it. Yeah, that's a that's we find that a lot. We <laughs> we hear quotes that we use, you know, 30 years ago, and it's new in their book and right, right. things like that. But uh, you always when you, when I try to give credit to people who have helped me because uh, it, it's not a very nice trait to use other people's stuff and not give them credit for it. Well. Uh, when I first uh, walked in the door yesterday morning, I reminded you of uh, a picture I saw online in 1953 of a handshake. I'm going to come over and get the picture on this one of uh, you and Jack Kramer. And I said I had the same feeling uh, as he had when he met Jack Kramer. And this has been a thrill of a weekend for me. And uh, Waved everybody at Fatso Tennis, and uh, I'm going to get them out here to take some lessons off you. Yeah, well, I used to be 6'3 and thin, and I've been eating those low-cal donuts, so i got to lay off of that stuff. Vic, thanks so much. It's been a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you more at Fatso Tennis. See you later. Thanks. Good. Well, I hope you got some sauce oh. there.